Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to see how actually the S3 bucket versioning work. So what actually I will do, I will go to the S3. Okay. I click on the S3. What actually I will do, I will click on the, I will create a new bucket. Okay. So my bucket name is like S3 bucket versioning something. I will give. Make sure it should be unique. And AWS region that I am selecting, I will just click on the bucket. Okay. Now, how actually versioning works? Okay, let us try to understand. So this is a particular, uh, this is the particular uh, bucket we have created. Okay, or let us take any of the bucket. Okay, input file. Okay, so this is a bucket which I am taking. What actually I will do? I will just click on the upload and click on the file. And uh, after that, what actually I will do? I will try to select any of the file okay okay i will go to the employee and uh, this is the file which i am uploading okay uh, this is the file which i am uploading and i will just click on the upload you can see the file is now uploaded okay this is the file which is now uploaded and uh, if you if you will go and if you will see in the property we have option like the bucket versioning as of now bucket versioning is disabled what actually i will do i will go and i will try to enable that okay i have enabled that the versioning now okay in a bucket i have enabled the versioning okay so in an input file we have uploaded the file okay this is the particular file we have uploaded now what actually i will do i will try to again upload the same file what actually i will do i will try to again upload the same file with the same name and click on the upload now click on the close now if you will be see now if you will see right you have only one file even though you have uploaded two times but you can see only one time okay so what actually it is doing whatever the latest file it is only showing that okay even though if you will see here we have one option like the show versions okay now here you can see you will be able to see like there is one version id which is getting created so first time whenever i uploaded a file this is the particular file was there suppose there is some changes and suppose there is some changes and new file uh, new data is coming so like this actually you can maintain the version of your file without losing even if you want to store this particular file that also you can restore that okay so based on the version id you can maintain a backup and you can retrieve that okay and so once you will click on the show version you will get to see whatever the uh, version is there let me try to show you one more time click on the add file again if i will try to upload a file you will get to see there is uh, one more version id will get created and that actually you will be able to see so now if you click on the show version you can see there is a three file and there is one version id which is getting generated based on that you can retrieve that if i'll click here okay click on the action and you can download that okay so that is how actually you can enable the versioning in your s3 bucket and you can maintain the version of your the files and all